And that's going to be courtesy of Jimmy Charles. He's a Maryland singer. He's got a newest release that came out in May. It's a Maryland thing you wouldn't understand. And if it does not just give you an absolute endorphin rush when you're listening to it, I've played it back a few times already. And I got to tell you, I, I was impressed when I started hearing the Orange Crush, the Bay Bridge, all of these different references. You got to watch the O's. But the fact that you worked the O that Orioles fans like to shout into the anthem in the song, that was something special. I mean, can you tell us just a little bit about the creation of that? Yeah, well, I live in Nashville now, so I make a lot of trips from here to Nashville, which is a l really long drive, and a lot of it is to Ocean City, so you're talking about 13 hours, and a lot of times I write songs in my head, you know, on my way back and forth, and I started writing this song, and uh, that was one of the biggest parts. I was like, how can I fit this in? Because it's such a big part of everything that we're crazy about in Maryland. You know, you know, always know how many O's fans are, are traveling by the national anthem when you hear that O, so I was like, I've got to do it, and uh, I was able to do it, man. I'm, I'm I don't think it's ever been done before the, the national anthem in, in a song so um, it's so much fun and when I'm singing it out like everybody stands up they put their hands over their hearts so it's been so much fun so July 8th we've got you pre-game with the anthem we've got you for a mini post-game concert before the fireworks which of those is harder to sing because we've heard a lot that the anthem is not easy no, but, you know, it's such a great honor, you know, to sing the national anthem. Um, you know, it's, it's um, you got to take a deep breath and just get your jitters out because there's no hiding back there. You know, it's, it's a cappella and there's no band. It's just you and all eyes are on you. And it's the most important song in, you know, in the country. So, um, but it's always such an honor and it's a, such a rush and uh, I love singing it. I love singing it. You've had a couple albums come out since your American Idol start. It seems, though, that the music for you, especially of late, is, is picking up a little more in frequency. Is that just kind of a product of everybody's finally getting to be back together again, to record, to write, to collaborate? Yeah, well, I mean, COVID was just horrible. I mean, it was like there was no warning, and it was, you know, this is how I make my living, and all of a sudden that was gone. It was like the rug being pulled out from underneath of you, and, uh, you know, it lasted for over a year. You know, I lost hundreds of shows over the past two years, but it's back now. It's back in full force. Everybody's hungry for music. You know, they're ready for concerts to get back out there live, and it's it's coming out. And, um, you know, I'm excited to be a part of it, and everything's just... And, of course, with this song, is just blowing up so much in, in Maryland. I get to hear it tonight over the big speakers here in Canby Yards when I watch the game, so it's a dream come true there. University of Maryland's going to be using it for all their sporting events, and it just keeps on continuing. I was at the Catonsville um, parade yesterday on a float singing it, and everybody knew the words, and it's, it's just been a lot of fun. So. It's definitely becoming an anthem for one of the states with the most state pride. Now, for you, as you've moved forward, you've been finding success. You also created the I'm Not Alone charity yeah. to help benefit those who are dealing with cancer. We actually talked to Trey Mancini about that a little earlier today. Just uh, tell us what that means to you to be able to give back and make an impact. Oh, I mean, it's so important. You know, any, anybody that has a platform, you know, I think you've got to use it to do good, you know, and that's, that's really what drives me to continue on. I think if it wasn't for that part of my artistry, I don't know that I'd still do it. You know, I've, I've done the honky tonks for years in Nashville and all over, but that part, you know, for six years, I've been the national spokesperson for Zero at the End of Prostate Cancer, wrote a number one CMT song, um, <clears throat> Superman, that uh, has just helped save lives. We Are Warriors, I Am Not Alone came from, I wanted to be able to help more than just prostate cancers because the song meant so many, so much to uh, different types of, of people battling cancer. So, um, and my now wife, who we just got married, uh, but a couple weeks ago, finally, because it was pushed back, and uh, she's been a huge help with that, and we just, we just love giving back, and now that we have our own nonprofit, we're able to do that.